Hi everybody. I want to talk to you very quickly about this idea of relative file names versus absolute file names in ArcGIS. So here is a an ArcGIS project. This is the outline of a reservoir and this is a raster I'm showing you and the colors of the raster represent wind intensity at different spots on the reservoir. At any rate, I've got this project and I come over here and I look at file map document properties and at the bottom there's this idea store relative path names to data sources and I have it checked right now but I'm going to uncheck it because when you first install ArcGIS 10 the store relative path names is unchecked by default so that's what I'm gonna leave it and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I don't know if I need to for this example, but I will. And so now I'm going to close down this project. And if you look here, this folder, it's called Baldwin Fetch. Fetch is uh, another word for wind intensity on a lake. This is the folder that contains all my shape files. If I open it up, you see that there's lots of files, each one of those shape files is actually multiple individual files just like we talked about but everything I need is in this folder so let's pretend that I move this folder to a different computer or somewhere else so I'm going to drag it to the desktop okay so now that folder is in a different location I'm going to go ahead and, and open up that project again and you notice that when I open up the project nothing shows up and if you come over here to the table of contents I have nothing but little red exclamation points and that's because we had unchecked that box to use relative file names so it's actually using absolute file names so what's that mean let's look at this raster double click if I come to the source tab you see that it's looking for this file under users tim documents dropbox gis baldwin fetch but you'll recall that i took this baldwin fetch folder and moved it to the desktop so it's not in this folder path anymore but it's looking for this exact folder path and that's why it's unable to find the file that i want to work with so i can update it set data source and then I have to go look for the new location and you see here Baldwin Fetch is under the desktop that's the new location and here is this rel exp raster that I'm trying to find if I hit add and OK now it shows up and now the little red exclamation point is gone because I've told it where to look well that's not very good every time you move to a different computer or move a folder to a different location you can't go through and have to update every single one of your shape files so we need to fix this and the way we fix this is by going to file map document properties and checking the box for store relative path names apply OK and now we should be able to move this folder anywhere and ArcGIS will always look within that folder for these shapefiles. Now you'll see here in the table of contents that I fixed all of these uh, shapefiles and rasters that I have here. So I don't have the little red exclamation point anymore so ArcGIS knows where to find all of these files and you know that we have turned on relative file names so let's go ahead and shut down close that and again this folder is on the desktop I'm gonna go ahead and drag it back to its original location which is in a folder called GIS so now that folder is in a different location you'll remember last time I moved that folder ArcGIS got very confused but now that I have relative file names on it shouldn't get confused 
So now let's open up the same project. And as the project opens, you see that it actually is able to see all the files again. It's showing this raster. If you look at the table of contents, you see that there are no red exclamation points. So by turning on relative file names, uh, I'm now able to move that folder anywhere and ArcGIS will always look inside that folder uh, for, for all of the shape files in the project and you should be able to move the folder wherever you want. Now, if you go ahead and add shape files from a different folder and you don't move that folder, or that folder goes to a different file, you could end up with some headaches. So if you use files from different folders, all bets are off, but that's a tough thing to do anyway. So this should help you move your folder with all your GIS files among different computers. Now, the final thing we need to talk about is, is how can we make this the default so we don't have to go and set this every time for every project? And it's real simple. You just go to Customize, ArcMap Options, and if you go to the General tab, and you find Make Relative Paths the default for new map documents, and check that box, which I've already got it checked, and then hit OK. Now that's going to be the default. Again, when you first install ArcGIS, that's not the default. Now it is the default, and so now every time you create a new project, it will store relative path names. If you put everything in the same folder and then just copy that folder, no matter where you put it, it'll be able to run, and it should work, and it should make your life a little bit easier. And that's all I wanted to show you, so thank you very much.